Steve, welcome to Robins TV. <laughs> Thank Saw you. Saw you at Ashton Gate <laughs> last night for the, the first Elton John concert. Great spectacle, not just for the stadium, but for the city as a whole to host those concerts. Yeah, it was really good to, well, to be back really. I mean, I missed the Killers uh, concert, which was unfortunate for me. Um, I think that was very, very good too. But be there last night and just to, to be part of that party atmosphere. Um, you know, was it 25, 26,000 people just there enjoying Elton John um, performing? It was great. And, uh, yeah, I looked around at one point, particularly when all the, uh, like the, the torch lights were coming on when they're doing the song. And it was, uh, it was just a bit more lump to my throat, really, because it was just, this is what it's all about, is getting people into the stadium. It's great to have them there for football. It's great to have them there for rugby. But to have other events like, like concerts, it's, it's just great. So, you know, Ashton Gate is the hub of South Bristol, and long may it continue. As you said, Killers last month, Russell Brand, the UE graduations, the England Roses, Rugby International next month. How good is it to see the stadium being used you know, as a real community hub? Well, that's what it's all about. That's what it's there for. Um, it's what it was designed for. Um, and it's, and it, 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 one, it's a great facility and it's a great place for people to go and enjoy themselves. But from a business perspective, it pays its way. And that's, what, again, very important in, 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 the, in our course to be sustainable. You know, the stadium has to pay for itself. It's doing well. Um, and again, a lot of hard work goes into getting there. So for Marks to uh, Mark Kelly and the team down there, everybody that works so, so hard to get to these events put on um, and to, to make them profitable. Another Elton John concert on Sunday, but tension will soon turn to football. The fixtures are out. Um, after 25 years of being involved, Steve, do you still have the same sense of anticipation as you did back in 96, 97? <laughs> well, I think it's obviously different and I'm perhaps a bit more blase about it than I used to be. And, uh, but no, I mean, you look at the list and you look at uh, who you can play. I think you know, having Sunderland up for our first home game is, is a great one for us, actually, because uh, you know, the Sunderland fans will be all up for the game because it's their first uh, you know, entree back into the championship. Um, hopefully, our, uh, you know, our fans, even though it's early in the year, will be you know, ready to, to come along and support the, 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 the team and, and get the season off to a good start. So looking forward to that and uh, just getting the season underway and uh, seeing how we do. As you said, I think our fans will be out in force. More than 13,000 season tickets already sold, which is you know, ahead of last year. How encouraged are you by the commitment of the Bristol City fans you know, and their support for the team? Yeah, to be honest, I'm delighted. Um, I mean, I'm, and I'm a little bit surprised, if I'm honest, because you know, last couple of seasons haven't been great. Um, but to, to, to you know, thirteen thousand and counting um, for season tickets for the next year is is a great uh, testimony to the support that uh, we've got in this city. Um, and we want to reward that report that, that support this year with some good performances. Uh, you know, to being competitive in the league and uh, some enjoyable football. So again, what as many people to come along, season ticket holders, people coming along to, to the games individually uh, during the course of the next 12 months or so and uh, really getting behind the team and seeing how far we can go. And of those season ticket holders, I think 3,500 are under 19s, which is a you know, greater than ever percentage mm. of, that, of that number. To have so many young Robins, young supporters, they are the future, uh, you know, future support base of the club, aren't they? They are, and if you, you know, recall, I mean, we put, put a lot of effort into attracting younger people to come to games, uh, families to come along and, and so, and I think we're seeing the rewards of that now. So with those numbers that you've just quoted, it shows you know, the, the trend is moving in the right direction. That's not, not to say that we don't want all our older supporters to come along and renew their season tickets. We do, we want everybody to come along. We, you know, we'll, we like to feel we're one big family and uh, we want to have family occasions on, on a regular basis at Ashton Gate uh, supporting the team. Whenever we talk to you, Steve, you're always positive. When you look at the club, the facilities, you know, been here at the Robin High Performance Centre, the number of homegrown young players coming through, the work of the foundation. What are your reflections, at, you know, of the current position of the club? Well, I'm, again, it's, it's, it's what I've aspired to, if you like, over many, many years. And it's taken longer, perhaps, in many ways to get to where we are. But I think we're doing things in the exact right way. We've got the best facilities. As I always said I want to pay at the highest level and the best possible surroundings. And I think we've got those surroundings. Um, we've got one more level to go to be at the, the highest level we can play at and hopefully we'll, we'll, these surveyors will help us get there. Um, we're developing players, we're, we're, we're recruiting at a young age, we're recruiting players that have got value when we, you know, that aren't our players in, 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 the, in the transfer market and uh, you know, we're building and we're building and we're building and I think uh, 
you know, the exciting thing this year is, you know, we've had a, a number of early signings, which uh, I think have captured the imagination of the supporters. I hope that's helped in the season ticket sales, yeah. I'm sure. Um, and you look at that with what we've, we've brought forward with the likes of, you know, Alex Scott doing his stuff in the, with England and the 19s at the moment, but that potential that's coming through, um, we've got a lot to look forward to. And as a proud Bristolian, last season we had an average of you know, six homegrown players in each match day squad. Um, to see players from our city coming through and the work of the academy, that must give you a lot of heart. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, because at the end of the day, we, you know, the transfer market is, in a way, it's beyond clubs like ours now. Um, it's, it's for the premiership sides to, to go and spend the money. Uh, we, have, we have to go and find players in different ways. Our equipment's got to be sharper and better, and, and it, it's definitely very, very good. So you know, the team's working very hard on the analysis and, 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 and scouting the players. And, and when they come in, the coaches are working very hard to develop them and get them better and to get that right culture. So the culture, you know, that, that winning culture, that togetherness um, that breeds winning football teams. And, uh, you know, we, we, you never can tell what's going to happen in the season. At this point in time, we're all optimistic. Uh, uh, but I feel we have good cause to be this year. And Nigel's talked about, in particular, you know, those three players coming in. When they've talked to Robins TV, you can sense how hungry for success they are and they want to get to the Premier League. Um, how important is it to aim high? Well, there's no point in being in the game unless you aim high. I mean, we want to win every game of football. And if you win every game of football, you'll be at the top of the league, at the very, very top of the league. So that's, that's what we're here to do. But it's also to uh, you know, be part of the community. But the, the community wants success. And that's, it's, 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 we feed each other. That's, that's the key to it. So, yeah, it's hard as a, as a supporter sometimes to uh, to follow a team because you have to go with the ups and downs, and there's quite often more downs than there are ups. But I feel you know we've we've had a couple of difficult periods. Um, one obviously led by COVID, but the other you know coming out of it last year with the the, the, the form we it was a spasmodic form I suppose is a better way to describe it last year. But we finished well, and uh, you know we're, we're we're moving in the right direction, and uh, and that's all we can keep doing. And that's I always say we've got to progress every year. And as long as we progress again next year uh, and uh, play some good football, uh, I think everybody should be happy. And as we enter the 22-23 season, what's your message to, to players, supporters, fans, both new and, and those who've been with us for several years? Well, I think the, the pandemic and everything else has taught us one thing, is to live for today um, and enjoy it. And I think that's what we've got to all try and do. It. So, you know, the, the players are, you know, are lucky to be doing a job which allows them to do is what they love doing, which is kicking a football about and, 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 and playing games. Um, so they've got to go out and enjoy every game, put every, 100% into every game and, and, and do the best they possibly can, play at the highest possible level they can uh, for the team and for the supporters and, 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 uh, and, and, and our sponsors and everybody else is to, is to, is to get 100% behind the, those players, um, behind the club itself and to, again, to enjoy the moments and uh, to... to, to, to support when, when, when the times are tough and enjoy the moments when things are really, really good. Thanks for joining us, Steve. Okay, pleasure.